All right, you now tune it into the wig and shade hour with Chris. Don't worry about the next, because it's your boy, Chris, with the next. All right, so I just want to talk about uh, the whole Queen's Court thing, and, um, it, you know, it, the saga continues, you know. I feel like um, Kaya is just riding it out, you know. She's still going in on uh, T.S. Madison. And T.S. Madison is still winning, uh, making money. She's on Hollywood Unlocked. You can tell that she getting, her, you know, her dues. Uh, you got, you got uh, a lot of people following her too, like Naomi Campbell and all of them on her Instagram. And Kaya is still sabotaging her career. I most likely, I most want to talk about how T.S. Madison shaded her and shaded her in a classy but funny way. Saying that, you know, I'm still uh, doing, uh, the Queen's Court is still going to continue while you still <laughs> with that dusty ass, uh, that 60-year-old, that 60-year-old uh, uh, book frame and that 20-year-old that ass desk. That shit was funny as hell. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, Kaya didn't want the fame. Kaya is like Erica Badu. Don't put Kaya and Erica Badu in the same sentence. Yeah, Erica Badu, she has shown her house and she don't have all that lavish stuff and she has kids. But Erica Badu still is respectful. She still is um, highly rewarded with Hollywood and she, um, um, how do I say it? Like she grows her own food and um, Erica Badu, she, um, she said, um, I'm a cup of tea. An incense, but I can change into a pack of Newports and a glass of um, a bottle of Hennessy if needed be. Okay, I feel like when Azalea Banks tried to shade her, and everybody's like, "Don't do it, don't do it." Yeah, so um, that's different, you know. And we told T.S. Madison don't work with uh, Kaya, and that's why I don't work with nobody because see shit like that, Kaya, you know, throwing people under the bus. One minute you like them, one minute you don't. One minute you say you need somebody. Yeah, you do need people to um, go big, <clears throat> go big, and go popping. And next caller, that could have been your first official hit that you wrote. Because my neck, my back, technically ain't yours, but you made a girl version of it. So we're gonna give you that. But um, that could have been your second hit. Cause I know she came out with the greatest hits album, but what one song is on it? Two, three. And, um, that's why people don't want to collaborate, because it's just like, once I get to where I'm going, now I'm, I'm fit to shade you. You got a lot of fake people be like, well, I'm fit to diss you, and that's why I don't really, you know, work with others. I will, probably in the future. But I gotta make sure the energy is right, that I'll be on the same page. You know, I'm fit to use my platform to, uh, go big and then go hard on me. But, of course, T.S. Madison... We'll be the bigger person of this. And then Kai saying all that stuff about that person being a man. Well, you already knew that. Well, why did you work with the person if you already knew they was all that stuff? A Decepticon. I mean, come on. Even T.S. Medicine said. I mean, her name starts with T.S. You know, so I feel like, you know, cause look, look at the whole So Excited thing. That song was written... It was a, a song written by Janet. It was supposed to be Janet by herself. And then Jermaine Dupri was like, okay, let's get a female rapper on this, you know, to, like, cope back you up. Then I think Janet was like, you know what, let's um, get Missy Elliott. And then Jermaine Dupri was like, no, she already family. I did so many songs. Let's get somebody that, that could rap but don't have that much clout. So that's when Kaya came in. And then with the uh, BT, BET Access, they was like, um, they showed her. And she was saying, you know, Kaya, uh, Janet, a legend, you know, I'm so happy to be here and all that. So then she shot her video, and she shot her part, and then after the video came out, she talking about on that tired-ass leather couch, uh, fuck Janet, Janet, uh, Mariah about to be uh, number one, uh, this outsold you. It's like, first of all, how do you compare them to? They both legends, they both got a walk of fame, they both have hit albums, hit greatest hits. Probably more than one greatest hits album, to be honest. And all these accolades, something that your ass ain't gonna get because of your mouth, your motor mouth. 
being disrespectful. And, <clears throat> you know, I'm not saying that Kaya has to kiss ass with Hollywood or do any weird stuff. She could have still been herself, but she could, you know, but she does stuff like, you know, go in and then talk about people. <laughs> you know how she is. You know, you should have, like, an opinion, like, say, like, with Regina, because a lot of people agree with her with Regina, and but then she'll take it too far and be like, oh, well, I'm going to roast the baby, roast the fetus, you know. And then when somebody try to go in on Kaya, because Kaya like to diss stuff, like Tasha K. say, she like to diss people, but she can't take it. Because when she, she likes to block people, like she blocked me on all her social media, but whatever. And then she does a, next caller, you ain't talking about that, motherfucker, you ain't talking about that, next caller. Um, so, how you, you know, YouTube is still a form of being a lot Instagram still a form of being entertainment. You know, I feel like she likes to get her feet wet and she likes to bag out. You know. And then you talk about you want to be in movies that like you are and then you say that you don't want to do it. So uh this uh T S Madison was trying to make you relevant again because uh she have a lot of connections and you don't. And uh <laughs> So she read her in that in that post, because um, that next caller could have been a, a great a good hit, and you know that could have elevated you to a next level. You don't necessarily need to be on TV, because of Queen's Court. If it was on TV, then it would have been watered down, but it still could have put you on another level. You still could have got sponsors, probably from Coca Cola, somebody. Anyways, you know T S is winning. Kaya is not. That's just my, <clears throat> my opinion and take on it. So, comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Till then, this being your boy Chris with the wig and shade hour. Peace.